storms occur in the ocean due to a combination of several meteorological factors, including changes in air pressure, temperature, and moisture levels, as well as the convergence of air masses with different characteristics. One of the most common causes of storms in the ocean is the formation of low pressure systems, which can result from the convergence of warm and cold air masses. This convergence can lead to an increase in atmospheric instability, which in turn can cause thunderstorms, wind, and heavy rain. Another cause of storms in the ocean is the presence of fronts, which are boundaries between two air masses with different temperatures, densities, and moisture levels. When a cold front moves into an area of warm air, it can trigger the development of a storm. Additionally, ocean currents can also play a role in the formation of storms, as they can transport heat and moisture from one location to another, leading to changes in temperature, pressure, and atmospheric conditions. Overall, storms in the ocean are the result of complex interactions between various meteorological factors, and their formation and behavior can be influenced by a variety of environmental conditions. Marine animals have adapted to life in the ocean in a variety of ways. Some have developed physical adaptations that help them survive in their underwater environment, such as fins for swimming, shells for protection, and tentacles for capturing food. Many marine animals, such as fish and sea turtles, have streamlined bodies that reduce drag and make swimming more efficient. Some, such as whales and dolphins, have evolved specialized structures, such as blowholes and sonar, that allow them to navigate and communicate in their underwater environment. Some marine animals have also developed unique adaptations for obtaining food. For example, some fish have sharp teeth and strong jaws for capturing and eating other fish, while others, such as whales and dolphins, have developed the ability to filter feed on small organisms, such as krill and plankton. In addition to physical adaptations, marine animals have also developed behaviors that help them survive in the ocean. For example, many species migrate long distances to find food in mates, or to avoid adverse environmental conditions. Some, such as clownfish, form symbiotic relationships with other organisms, such as anemones, for protection and food. Overall, marine animals have adapted to life in the ocean in a variety of ways, from physical adaptations for swimming and obtaining food, to behaviors that help them navigate and survive in their underwater environment. The ocean has a significant impact on Earth and its climate, as well as on the health and well-being of people and other living things. Some of the key ways in which the ocean affects our planet include Climate regulation – The ocean plays a major role in regulating Earth's climate by absorbing and storing heat, as well as carbon dioxide from the atmosphere. This helps to maintain a stable global temperature, and reduces the effects of climate change. Weather patterns – The ocean also affects weather patterns by influencing air pressure, temperature, and moisture levels. Ocean currents, such as the Gulf Stream, transport heat from the equator towards the poles, and can influence regional weather patterns. Biodiversity – The ocean is home to a vast array of life forms, from tiny plankton to large whales, and is a critical habitat for many species. Changes in the ocean's temperature, chemistry, and circulation can have profound impacts on marine biodiversity, with consequences for the entire food chain. Economic activities – The ocean provides a variety of resources, including fish, minerals, and oil, which are critical to many economic activities, such as fishing, shipping, and tourism. Human health – The ocean also has an impact on human health by affecting air and water quality, as well as providing food, recreation, and other benefits. However, ocean pollution and overfishing can pose significant threats to human health and well-being. Overall, the ocean has a profound effect on Earth and its inhabitants, and it is essential that we work to understand and protect this vital resource. Clouds are formed when moist air rises and cools. As the air rises, the water vapor in it condenses into tiny water droplets or ice crystals, forming a cloud. This process is known as condensation. Clouds are created in several ways, including Convection, when air near the ground is heated by the sun, it rises and cools, forming clouds. This is called convection and is the most common way clouds are formed. Frontal lifting, when a warm air mass meets a cold air mass, the warm air rises above the cold air, and clouds form along the boundary between the two air masses. This is called frontal lifting. Orographic lifting, when air rises over mountains, it cools and clouds can form. This is called orographic lifting. Convergence, when air flows towards a low pressure system, it rises and clouds can form. This is called convergence. 
The type of cloud that forms depends on the temperature and moisture content of the air, as well as the height at which the cloud forms. For example, low clouds, such as stratus clouds, form at low altitudes, while high clouds, such as cirrus clouds, form at high altitudes. Overall, the formation of clouds is a result of the complex interplay between temperature, pressure, and moisture in the atmosphere.